everybody and welcome along to the Pottery Corner, my studio down on the south coast of England near Chichester. Well, today we're going to do the first part of a three-part tutorial on how to make these beautiful porcelain hydrangea heads. So I know my regular viewers will have been waiting some time for me to get round to uh, doing this particular tutorial. Um, so here it is. This is part one. In the coming weeks, part two and part three will come out. Um, but I thought the first thing that I would do would be to go through the equipment that you're going to need to do this make so that you can get yourselves ready to follow along with the make as we go along. So these beautiful hydrangea heads are made with porcelain. Um, there are various ways that you can make them and I'll go through that um, when we actually do the make. Um, but they are decorated with glass frit rather than just glaze. Um, so I'm just going to go through the bits and pieces that you'll need to get uh, to get yourself ready to join me in this make. Okay, so these hydrangea heads that I make, um, I put on poles in the garden. So I put them in my garden tubs outside in the summer um, and they stand on sticks or, or metal canes and they move in the breeze. But you could also put your own spin on them and a couple of the students have done different things with them. Uh, one of the ladies made uh, hydrangea heads without the stalk and then used it as a lid uh, to pots on the dressing table. And of course they look really lovely um, with, with just a simple pot underneath them and then you could put your jewellery and bits and pieces on your dressing table, which I thought was a very good idea. Um, one of the girls said it would be a good idea to put a hole in the middle and use them as candle holders. And again, that's another lovely idea. There are lots of different ways that you could take this project. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, and then you can experiment with the way that you want to do it. Um, they do look better made in porcelain. So you'll need some porcelain rather than uh, white stoneware. They really do come out better in the porcelain than the white stoneware. So it is worth investing in white porcelain uh, to make this project. Okay, and then the other items that I've got out on the table, um, I have a rolling cloth that I keep particularly for my porcelain so that I don't contaminate it with any other type of clay. Uh, I have a simple uh, rolling uh, equipment, so a rolling pin and some rolling guides, slip, porcelain slip. So talcum powder or cornstarch, you can use either um, saran wrap or cling film. Simple pottery tools um, of a rubber kidney, a metal kidney, a modelling tool, clay knife, a couple of paint brushes and a piece of... And I've put together a pack in the Etsy shop so that you can purchase the things that you're going to need for this project. Uh, so there's a template, there are cutters for the hydrangea heads in three sizes uh, and the glass frit. There are 14 different colours of glass frit uh, that you can choose from. In the Etsy shop you can choose the three colours of glass that you would like to have to make this project. So there are 14 to choose from um, and they're all uh, weighed out in these little packages. Um, so you get three packages with each purchase and there's enough glass in those packages to make at least six heads. So I hope that will make it easier for people to follow along rather than buying lots of equipment from different places to have all of that in one place. So check out the Etsy shop um, for the pack. I'm going to use some simple uh, plastic bowls and you'll have seen these on the Goosehead um, tutorial if you've watched that one. These are, uh, I call them boobies, they come out of uh, female uh, swimsuits so they're just um, boob padding um, and I use them as bowl liners so I use these little plastic bowls and then I put a booby in it and then I fashion the shape that I need so I'm going to be using those you can buy them individually you don't have to uh, take them out of your swimming costume but I, I presume you could probably buy a swimming costume in the charity shop and take them out um, so we're using those and then I'm using a tin 
Um, so when I make the um, hydrangea heads, I put them into this tin before I put the flowers on, and we'll go through that in the make, um, but I use a tin, I support the undergarments of the piece in the tin, um, and then I don't have to keep moving it. So we're going to use a tin, doesn't have to be a tin, it could be a vessel of any sort, but something with a fairly narrow neck that you can get the stalk into, but it will support the surrounding part here. You can also throw your um, under pieces. I've thrown this one, so you throw a little porcelain um, dish and then I've thrown the stalk off the hump. Um, if you happen to throw with porcelain, then obviously that would be great, um, but they're just as easy to hand build, so you don't have to throw them. Uh, but if you happen to be a thrower, you can throw them. And as you can see, all the decoration on the top here is done with glass, apart from the little spots of Amoco Pear. So I do use a henna bottle just to spot the Amoco Pear onto the centre of the flowers because I think it just picks them out. Um, so that's Amoco Pear. And then over the top, before the glass goes on, I use Amoco's Mixing Clear. So that's how we're going to do the glazing. We'll go into that in part three. I also have sacrificial cookies that go into the kiln um, because there is no way that you can make these without the glass dripping through. Um, so the glass looks lovely on them, but it does drip through. So you'll find that you'll get a little bit of glass seepage. So I make these sacrificial uh, cookies. As you can see, these two have got glass on them to prove the point. Um, I don't make these in porcelain, obviously. I make them in my cheapest uh, sort of bits and pieces that get cut off that I can just roll into a slab and then make sacrificial cookies that go into the kiln. So there's a little list of bits and pieces that you might need to get uh, to come with me on this project. The cutters and the glass and the template are all in my Etsy shop and the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. So get yourself um, sorted out on bits and pieces that you need to make this project and I'll see you all on the next one when we will start the make. Very exciting. I know that you've all been waiting for this one so uh, I'm really excited to share this project with you. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.